Hello there, it is Harry from pocketgamer.co.uk here, and I am first playing, playing first, doing a play of Cabin Escape from Glitch Games. It's a sort of prequel to the Forever Lost Season series of point and click, point and tap adventures. Um, it's sort of a, f a gift to fans uh, of those games. Uh, it's a, again, as you can see, a point and tap adventure. Let's point and tap at things, people. Ooh, a cupboard. Um, and it's the same sort of pointy, tappy, findy, thingy, stuffy doodah. Um, there is a boggle eyed rock. Oh, its eyes is loose. Let's try and pull it out. It won't work. Okay. Um, the interface again is quite simple. It's probably a puzzle clue, people. Um, so let's have a look. We are Alice. Um, someone's had a massive breakthrough on a drug. It's Jason. Got to keep my brain active. So we have to solve puzzles around the cabin, which is kind of an interesting setup for a video game. So, let's go back out into the cabin. Here is the cabin. Um, there seems to be locked. So it's hidden the key. It's all a bit weird. Um, <clears throat> here's the bedroom. Creepy, creepy drawings. Mm, we'll see. We'll see you did that, Alice. Another door here. Let's see button things and pushing on the screen here. Um, that wasn't the code. Um, it's a nice big laptop. Some ink. No, that's sweet. Um, I think this works. Get it to email to me. Um, reset password. What is your husband's middle name? Okay, let's go back out and find stuff. So, similar sort of layout to the Forever Lost games. Um, last game glitch made was called Ferris Mueller's Day Off and it was a sort of slightly odd riff on the uh, Ferris Bueller game but starring mules um, as the title suggests I got some marbles it's good I needed those uh, it was a much lighter affair much more no, line, I think. There we go. Um, focused on jokes. Um, it wasn't quite as successful um, as the Forever Lost games. It was a bit. That's the keyboard tapping. Um, <sighs> Brian. I don't know. We'll come back to that later. Uh, again, you've got the camera, so you can take photos of things. I took a photo of a desk. It's kind of cool, I guess. Slidey, slidey. Mince pies, by the look of it. It's an odd place to have mince pies. Again, there's that sort of spooky, slight atmosphere of unease that you've got in um, Forever Lost as well. But it seems to be in a more compact space, a tighter sort of... Yeah, but you've got the marbles for it. Yeah. in there. Um, we're going to actually play Solitaire. So that's good, I suppose. Um, there seems to be sort of um, two times ten. Six is the answer to that. I don't know if that's a spoiler. Can we write it in? No. 22nd of July 2005. A long time ago. Oh yeah, there's some crosses there. Let's see if there's anything in that cupboard. <laughs> that is the sort of magazine I would like to read. Let's see if we can... Um, no. Let's go put that back. Alice doesn't seem to be remembering anything. 
which is making the game quite difficult. Can we get up there? You're not tall enough. I'm probably tall enough, but I don't like to brag. Right, let's have a look at this puzzle. Green, 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 green. Green, green. I'm just saying green into the microphone now, which isn't the best sort of video coverage you can expect. We're usually a lot classier than this at PJ. Yay, key! I picked up a key. So down here at the bottom, you've got your inventory. You can see my key in it there, what I just nabbed. Um, tap on it, a key. So that's good, so quite a traditional point and click adventure sort of thing there at the bottom here. Um, we have my photo album, which shows all the photos I took. And I keep tapping it too often, and it doesn't come up. There we go. Um, so I have a photo, quite a nice photo, actually, that. I, if, if this was real life, I would probably put it on my Instagram. Alongside pictures of my delicious meals. Um, so we'll go back. And then the camera again, so photo inside of a drawer. Because I'm weird. Uh, let's back out. Are these it's locked that Jason has the key? I think this Jason guy is a bit weird. Um, I'm against him. I'm sure if you've played, well, I have played the Forever Lost games, but I don't really remember anything about them. Um, that's not a slur. I just I have a terrible, terrible memory. Oh, another, another. You this child-friendly cleaning fluid to use on the children's hands. That's all right, Jason. What children? I hope there aren't children. Okay, we'll take a bottle lid full of cleaning fluid. So now we can clean things. Triangles. Hmm. I am not the best in the world at point and click adventures. I have quite a short attention span and forget things quite often. This is the sort of use a hammer on the box. So, yes, I did just tap my iPad quite hard to see if that would have any effect. Strangely enough, dear viewer, it did not. Let's just see if we can clean these. Three, nine, one. See, I remembered that, and that looks kind of cool. I'm going to take a photo of that as well. Put it in the scrapbook. My being lost in a cabin scrapbook. So. There are probably, I should mention this before, some spoilers in this video. So if you wanted to go into, uh, you're probably too late for this and you've already realised it yourself. But I am just solving the puzzles. Um, I don't want to go in there, it looks awful. Why do they have key codes in their house? These people are mental. Oh, that's pretty. I have some of those in my office. I didn't put them there. I presume a child put them there. I don't just, anyway. The bulb is missing. I picked up a ladder. I love ladders. Okay. That was a joke. I got that. It's uh, same joke again. Okay, let's back out of there because it's scary. Um, what did I get? Oh, I got a ladder. See, told you. Forget everything. Let's pop up over here. No, but you've got a ladder now. A ladder. How are you carrying that? Oh. Another... oh, is that a mince pie? Yes, I'll have a mince pie. What an odd way to lay out dominoes. Yeah, can we slide them around? No. Let's take a photo of them though. Might be useful. One, two, numbers, stuff. Yeah, it's very, very hands off in its approach to um, to how you play. You just dropped in the cabin. Um, and left to your own slightly bonkers devices. It's, it's always time for sleep. That's nice. We'll take a photo of that as well, just in case there is a dog sheep on the roof. Because you never know, there might be a dog sheep on the roof. Oh, let's go that key. So, what are the keys for? Let's go find out. I'm at a fireplace. I don't know why. Um, Yay! No, that. Oh! 
faces. This should be quite interesting. Um, okay, so the, the yellow ones don't move, the red ones do move. I'm going to leave that be for now because, again, I'm basically just um, spoiling the puzzle for you, which makes me feel a bit sad. Um, but this has been uh, 10 minutes worth of the, well, the first 10 minutes worth of Glitch Games is his uh, upcoming point and click, point and tap, first person sort of prequel to Forever Lost. It's quite good. I enjoyed my time with it. If you like the Forever Lost games, uh, then I suspect that you will probably enjoy this. And if, you know, it's got that sort of roomy vibe to it a bit as well, and that sort of, ooh, something's not quite right here. Um, because it's not, because you're in a cabin and your husband's locked you in. Husbands, don't lock your wives in cabins. This has been Harry for pocketgamer.co.uk. Uh, the game is out on the 27th of March, which could well be tomorrow. And yeah, check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next week when someone comes and lets me out of this cabin. Bye bye for now.